welcome to my bathroom. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a reset. I have so much laundry I need to get done. I have weeds that need sprayed and pulled. I have some things I need to put away that I ordered from Amazon and just various things. If you would like to spend the morning with me and you have stuff to do yourself, <laughs> let's go ahead and jump in and do things. The first step is laundry. It has been raining over the last couple of days. We live on septic and so I'm very mindful about my water usage when it rains, but it's been so dry that I really didn't even need to put off laundry. But because I put it off, I have probably three loads to do today. I had gotten caught up before the rain happened, so that was at least good, but it rained for three days, I think. So I'm a little behind. <laughs> needed to get some more beef jerky. <laughs> if you saw my video on my organization of my pantry, I have a perfect spot for my jerky now. If you've not seen that video, I'll put it in the cards. Dollar Tree basket. This was a dollar 25, I believe. I like that it has a handle and it has plenty of space for all the jerky that we eat. <laughs> Our favorite jerkies as of late, the chomps. These are the two autoimmune protocol friendly chomps. This is the Italian style beef stick. And then this is just the regular sea salt. And then this is not AIP friendly until you have reintroduced black pepper, but the Wagyu beef from Epic. So these are kind of our go-tos. This is our driveway and it's covered with grass that's popping through the gravel. So I'm going to pull the biggest weeds that are in the middle of it out. And then I'm going to take my weed sprayer and spray the grass that's just kind of peeking through. And I also have been working on the front flower bed here as well. I had really high grass. You can kind of see that there's grass down here. Been pulling things out, but I really want to get some ground cover planted in here too from a local nursery. And so the walkway here, it just goes all the way down the house that direction and down that way. So I figured ground cover is just going to be probably the easiest thing for me to maintain and to help squelch all these weeds because they look delightful. Don't they look great? <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start on on the driveway because it really needs some assistance. I'm gonna fill up my weed sprayer here. This is a 12 liter and I don't have exactly enough to <laughs> fill it all the way up, but we're using what we've got. So I put in white vinegar. That filled it up about what, a third of the way, maybe? It's down to here. So then I'm gonna put in some salt and eyeball about half a cup-ish. And then I'm gonna do about four squeezes of dish soap. Out we go to spray. up for that sprayer my goodness so I got through about two-thirds of the driveway um, so I need to get some more white vinegar to finish the rest of it out but I'll see how it does hopefully it just takes care of all the weeds and don't have to pull anymore but I hear the washers finished so I'm gonna go ahead and flip the laundry and after that I'm gonna be looking up some ground cover options for our front flower bed. I'll take you outside to show you what I'm talking about. It's, it's become, it's out of hand. All right, so let's go out to the front flower bed and I will show you the blank slate that I'm dealing with. Here's the front flower bed. So it spans all the way down this walkway and then it is just massive. And it goes on the other side of this walkway here too. And right now it's just a bunch of weeds. <laughs> 
I did take a rake and I scraped, you know, all of the, the mulch and the dirt and everything yesterday. And I pulled out a ton and it's kind of hard to tell, but a ton of grass and it's, there's still grass and it's just a bunch of grass and weeds and all of that. So back in the back corner, there's some random hostas. Previous owner did that um, and didn't have anything in this bed here. I, I don't exactly know why they didn't have anything, maybe because it was just so big and they didn't want to maintain it, or I actually don't know, but there's so much surface area that I definitely want to have some kind of ground cover because if I don't, it's just going to end up being that. <laughs> and that's not not the most attractive thing so if i i was thinking if i just do ground cover that will like squelch out the weeds you won't even see them so that's kind of what i'm, I'm thinking right now so i have a gift card for my local garden center so i'm going to be checking out what they have online and i think they do either store pickup or i can browse around or whatever it just gets kind of busy and parking is at a premium there so i'm thinking i want to do some shopping online but i need to do some research as to what plants are less favored by deer because deer is just a huge issue here and i've read that lavender and herbs like sage and thyme and rosemary they don't really like that because it's such a strong scent and um butterfly something that i've heard also could be an option so i'd like to have the bed not be unruly like i'd kind of like it to be kept up I'd also like it to be functional, so herbs would be a fantastic thing to put out here. I would have a lot of them because it's a very large space. Um, but yeah, maybe a mixture, maybe a mixture of herbs and possibly flowers in the back. I don't know. So I'm gonna do some research there and see what I come up with. Is what I ended up with. So we've got three silver mounds, a couple of hydrangeas. This is really pretty flowers. I've never seen lead wart before, but we've got true lavender here, a couple of those, and two of these guys. Will it fill out my bed? No. Will it over time? Yes. <laughs> and I'll keep adding to it, but it's a good start. This is the next day <laughs> I went to my local garden center. And if you follow on Instagram, you would have seen all of that. And I got some plants here for, all of this is ground cover here. All of these plants are, we've got some silver mound and some other things I'll show you. And then I got a couple of hydrangeas. So this is called Little Hottie. <laughs> I just like the name. I it, More so than that, though, I liked that it was drought tolerant, which is good because hydrangeas like their hydration and um, that it could be in full sun. This is definitely a full sun bed the vast majority of the time. So I got one of those here and I have one of those over there. Got a couple of true lavender plants, Lavendula anuxtifolia. I don't know how you say it, but anyway, it's just your regular old true non air or true heirloom lavender non hybridized lavender so this is a full sun plant too so i have one here and one over here and then another little hottie over here so this should i might flip flop these this one looks like it's a little bit larger and that space over there is a little bit bigger so i'm gonna probably flip flop those and then there's another one there. So my biggest thing to tackle right now is to get these planted, get them watered, and then do a little bit more weeding. Um, this front stuff, ground cover stuff, will fill in. Um, it's going to take a while, though, before that happens. So it's going to look a little spotty for the time being. But, you know, as the country song says, you got to get it started if you want to get it done. So I'm getting it started. silver mound I couldn't split so we're just gonna leave that as it is all of this will be ground cover and so it will spread so wanted it to spread all over this area here and the same thing there then we've got a couple hydrangeas back here all planted and 
Hopefully they like this spot. <laughs> we'll see. The lavender smells so good. It reminds me of the lavender farm in Mona, Utah that I frequent. It smells amazing. And then hydrangea here. And then this last little bit of ground cover. I just need to remember not to pull that up because I just planted it. Oh. <sighs> And with that, I am spent. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already and you'd like to, hit that button down below, subscribe, so you never miss a garden update. Happy planting. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.